Hi, I'm Jake, and now we will make this effect. Let's get started. So first of all, let's import our footage. Go to File, Import, File. This footage will be in the description below for you to download. Click Import. Left mouse click and drag here or here on timeline or here to create new composition with exact same dimensions and properties as this video. If you want to know how to key out yourself using green screen or without, you can check this video by clicking on information icon in top right corner of your screen. Let's also drop background and let's also drag and drop this metal bar here. Let's rotate it a bit. Let's scale it a bit. Just select your footage, press S on keyboard to see your scale and change this value to make it bigger. Let's set it to 250 and use it right here around our eye. So for this effect we will use displacement map. We can find it in effects and presets panel. You can enable it from here. You can enable any panel which you want, effects and presets. So let's type in displacement map. So the way this effect works, it looks at our footage and tries to displace it. As you can see, it uses as a source itself, but we can create a custom texture, which we will do right now. Go to layer, new, solid. Here in color, we will set to gray color. Saturation set to zero, brightness to 50% and hue to zero. Click OK. And also we need another solid. So select it and press Ctrl D on keyboard to duplicate. For this solid we will apply fill effect and drop it on this top layer and set color to black. And also with this rectangle tool we need to make a square shape like our metal bar. Let's press F on keyboard to change mask feather. I'll set to 70. And also we can use the selection tool and double click on any point to be able to make it a bit bigger like this. So why we are using this gray color and this black color? So displacement map will ignore all gray values. It basically tells the software where effect should work. So let's select these both layers and right mouse click it and go to pre-compose. So we would have as one source. We'll call it texture and click OK. We can drag and drop here below and disable it. We don't need to see it, but we will use as a source. We can disable this metal bar for now. I'll press return on keyboard and we'll rename it to metal bar so it would be easier to find. Let's disable by clicking on this eyeball here. And here in displacement map, we can change displacement map layer to our texture. So now we can set a value so it would look like our metal bar is going inside. I'll set mine to 42. You can experiment with these values and see what looks better on your footage. I'll set to 9 for now. And now I want to animate this effect. So for this we will use this myself layer as control layer, which will control how this effect works. For this we would need slider control, even maybe two slider controls, and color control. Now by clicking on this lock button, we can lock this panel and now if we select any of the layers, it will not update here. We did this because now we can open our texture composition. Double left mouse click here. And with this pen behind tool, we can move our anchor point to a center. So now I want to lock all properties which I need to these slider controls. Let's call it here position. Just select it and press return on keyboard to rename it. Second one we will call scale and color control works fine. Now press P on keyboard to see position and hold ALT key on keyboard and left mouse click on this stopwatch. Now we have ability to write expressions. Basically we need to lock this value to this position value. So we could control it easily from main composition. So the way we can do this 
we need to open square bracket, then left mouse click on this big whip and drag to this slider control like this and release it. It will write some expression, then type comma and just write this second value, 540 in my case, and close square bracket. And also remember this value here, 1120, because we will need to type it in here. So if we click anywhere, it will jump to zero position and let's type 1120 or the value which you had and it will jump to same place. Let's use selection tool here. And in same way, we will connect scale. So select the solid, press S on keyboard, hold Alt key on keyboard and left mouse click on the scale property. Open square bracket, using this quick whip, connect to scale, then comma and write this second value, 100 and close bracket. Once again, we need to type this value here. So let's type it. So now it's connected properly. And finally, select this layer and press E on the keyboard. It will automatically open effect fill. So now, once again, hold Alt key on the keyboard, left mouse click. Using pick whip, left mouse click and drag to this color value. Release it and click anywhere. We can set it to black value again. So now we can close this and go back to our main composition and unlock this panel here. So now if we select our myself footage, we can completely control this effect. We can move this position, as you can see, also scale and color. Color if we change to 50, you can see that effect is stopped working. So this is another way to animate it. So now we can select our metal bar, enable it and just set position where we like. And now we need to make it look like it's going inside the head. So first of all, we need to duplicate it. Go to edit, duplicate. This one we can hide for now. And we will use this metal bar here. We need to select this rectangle tool and create a rectangle like this. Just make sure that distance between this line and bar is same from both sides. This is important because we will animate in mask property mask expansion. So it will delete itself evenly. We also need to select this selection tool, double left mouse click on one of the points and make it taller like this. About here, I want to it go inside. So I click on this mask expansion to create a keyframe. Keyframe is basically a point which remembers the value of certain property, like mask expansion. So let's set it to zero here. And here later in video, about here. Let's make it smaller value until this disappears. It disappears at minus 24 in my example. It may be different in yours. So now we have this kind of animation. Okay, great. But now, as you can see, we have lost it behind me. So for this, we will use this second copy. We can enable it and just place it behind my cell footage like this. So now we have this kind of effect. And now we can animate these properties. First of all, let's animate our color. Click on this stopwatch here. Let's disable this metal bar for now. And press U on keyboard. Select this footage, my cell footage. Press U on keyboard to see our keyframe. And about here, let's set it to gray value. As you remember, in gray value, this effect will not work. Okay. And spread these keyframes like this. So it would look like our face is recovering from this dent. And let's also copy this keyframe, select it, press Ctrl C on keyboard and move time cursor here and press Ctrl V. So here we will have this dent. Also, I want to animate scale just about here where our effect starts working. Left mouse click here on scale. Also press U on keyboard to see our keyframe. And about here, let's set to smaller value. As you can see, it moved over here. So this is why we have position property. Now we can go back to this keyframe, create a keyframe for our position and move here and adjust our position so it would be at right place. And this scale slider, we can spread a bit like this. Also, you can press U on keyboard to see all keyframes. 
Okay, so we have this effect. You can also change this value if you want more dramatic look. Like this. Let's also spread it apart a bit. And press F9 on keyboard so it would be a slower motion. Okay, it looks good. Now we can enable our metal bar and see if our position works fine. We can press Ctrl, Shift and H on keyboard at the same time to see all the layers without outlines and make sure it looks good. So as you can see, it's not quite in the same place. So for this, we can just select this metal bar too and connect using this pick whip to our metal bar. By selecting this and press P on keyboard, we can change position so it would match better where our dent is. Now, as you can see, our animation is too fast. So press U on keyboard, spread these keyframes. So our animation would go slower and also press F9. Let's spread it a bit. And now we need to have some shadow. Apply drop shadow. Left mouse click and drag on this metal bar here. And let's animate opacity, distance and softness. Here at the beginning, let's set distance a bit further apart like this and softer shadow and maybe decrease our opacity. And here where it's close, we can increase opacity, set softness lower and distance also lower. So it would look like it really close to my face. We can press U on keyboard to see these keyframes and spread it apart. And maybe also press F9 so animation would go smoother. And now it's a great time to support my channel by one of the links in the description below. Or simply subscribe to my channel, leave a like and comment what you want to see on my channel. All your support is very much appreciated. Thank you.